Today I'm going to show you how to route your machine into Logic so that way every drum pad that has a sound is going to display on its own track within Logic. We're going to add machine into an instrument track as a multi-output stereo track. Now we have a single track as viewed here next to the timeline. So we want to open up our mixer and right down here in the mixer we have a little plus and a minus sign. These are to add your auxiliary tracks. So we'll expand all those out to the max 16, highlight all of them, and then right click, create track. So what this did was laid out all the auxiliary tracks right next to your timeline here. I like to then take these by highlighting all of them and creating a track stack. I do a summing stack so that way it acts like a bus. And I just call that machine. All right, we got our tracks laid out in the DAW, so the next thing we want to do is get machine set up so that it's routing its audio properly to each individual auxiliary track. So first I'm going to show you how to set up the routing inside the plugin inside the DAW, um, and then I'll show you how to set it up with the drum pad itself. So inside the machine application, you've got your little plugin icon in the middle here, right above that. You have another icon that looks like a knob. Make sure the audio is highlighted and you're on an individual sound and you're going to change each one of these to their proper extensions. Destination, extension one. Sound two, extension two. Sound three, extension three. Sound four, extension four, and so forth. Now I'm gonna just speed this up. Make sure that you save this as a preset when you're done so you don't have to do this painful process every time. Okay, so the audio is now set up to the proper extensions. Then we're gonna go over here to the MIDI and on each individual one, we wanna just change the destination to host. Your next step is to go ahead and find yourself a drum kit. So let's just pick a random one here. I don't know, yeah, why not? Little Abbey Road. And now that we have everything routed, watch what happens. Bass. Snare. All the sound is going to its own individual track, so you can adjust the volume, the pan, um, you can add effects to individual tracks this way. And yeah, it was really as easy as that. And make sure. After you set this up, you go ahead and save as a preset. So that way, it's already routed for you every time. I want to back up. I want to show you how to do all this directly from the drum pad. Hey, we're behind the scenes. Just kidding. I'm going to go handheld here so I can show you the drum pad. Hey, everybody. How you doing? All right. Try not to pay attention to me. I'm in a reflection. Whatever. I want to show you this. Once you got the menu loaded up in the DAW, this is what you're gonna see on your screen. Whichever button's highlighted on your drum pad here is gonna be the one you're editing. We're on sound, output, audio, destination, extension one, extension two, and I'm just hitting the drum pads, extension three, 11, 12, and 16. Okay, so after we have the audio set up to all of the extensions, we can click our arrow button and change it to MIDI. So now, channel one, MIDI, host, two, host, three, host, four, host, 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 host. 16, host. Okay. So now we can go to our browser. We can get one of our awesome little drum kits. That's not my style. No, no. I like some, some drift theory. All right, so we'll load up our drum kit for break miss. Anyways, 
Now it's all set up for you through the pad. So once you save your preset and your plugin in your DAW, you'll just be able to open it up, go to it like I have one here, go to a drum kit and you're all ready, ready to go. You can see them all going on their own individual channel. So thank you, thank you, thank you for checking this out. I hope it was helpful. I know a lot of people have been wanting me to do more tutorial videos on some of my equipment. Um, I put up a Roland SDPSX Pro video uh, about a year ago now, and it got really great reviews. Check that one out if you haven't already. Um, it's about how to make click tracks in multiple different ways. So thank you so much. Please make sure that you like and subscribe to this video. I'm trying to, you know, not have to get a real job. So thank you. <laughs>